Oh, yeah, the green colony. In the light of the shepherd. Well, mankind. He saved us from the fiery seconds of the earth. On the wings of the shepherd. Well, mankind. He carried us across the bridge. From the ashes, we will rise. A shepherd. For all, for all mankind. You know how you know green for you? I got purple pants. Hey. Go, go, go! Hello everyone and welcome to my Colony Wars video. Sadly, most of the footage from this video got corrupted, so I don't have that to show you. And it is tragic because in this footage I did flanks, I did cool guy stuff, I saw cryptids in the woods, a lot of really cool stuff. And while that does suck, I do have some gameplay and funny moments I can show off to you guys. To give you guys some context on how Colony Wars works, there's basically five teams. These five teams must compete against each other for resources to survive. The team that gets the most resources pretty much wins. This creates a very one-of-a-kind airsoft experience and leads to some very fun encounters. In these next following clips, we are fighting with Blue Team for control over a supply drop that comes to the area pretty often. Naloma needs assistance at uh, Pallet Town. We have uh, incoming reinforcements from Blue Team. I repeat, we got incoming reinforcements from Blue Team. Over. When we spotted the blue team force, we decided to get a flank on them so we can have the upper advantage when they manage to push through the field. Oh, they're right here. Dead straight, dead straight! Get that MG going! Ed! In this next bit, the enemy team just lets me do the dirty on them. You guys will see what I mean by that. I took out a majority of them behind the uh, bunker. Push now if you can. Over. One's in bunker. I'm getting shot at from the right side. I, I cleared out the right side a lot. You guys can probably push over. Push up to the bunker, We, me and Michael cleared it out. I'm up on the right, over, now, push, now. There's a contact on your left. No fucking shot. Alright, so this section I want to tell my creepy cryptid story, and I, I just want to let you guys know I'm just going to do this raw, no script. So if I like stutter like an idiot, you just got to deal with it. Um, yeah, so basically how this happened is we did this huge flank. We sat in a bush for like an hour getting eaten up by, eaten, eaten up by mosquitoes. And like afterwards, my arms were like all bumpy and all that. It was horrible. But we did this cool flank. Of course, that's the part that, you know, I didn't get on footage, sadly. But um, I also didn't get 
this on footage, which was I was walking back because I died, and it was kind of like going like from day. It was like dawn, you know, getting to the point where it's really dark. And if you know anything about Black Ops's field, it's like all woods. So it when it gets dark there, it gets dark there really quick because we're surrounded by trees. So I'm kind of walking back to my camp alone, and all of a sudden I come across J. Cole. And we're, we were actually going in opposite directions. He was going one way, I was going the other way. And we kind of looked at each other and we're like, yo, what's up? And he's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going back to camp. He's like, and I'm like, where are you going? He's like, I'm going back to camp. So we ended up walking with each other. We did a funny little like skit where I recorded like a few seconds of us walking past a tree like, oh, I saw this tree before, right? So we're walking. And we get to this part where there's this downed helicopter. And that's kind of how we knew we went too far. Right? So I radio into uh, my buddy Kelzar. And I'm like, hey, are you a fob? You know, I'm like, he's like, yeah. I'm like, alright, scream as loud as you possibly can. Just so we have, like, a direction where camp is. So we hear him scream. And I turn around to look. And I notice this, like, thing. Like, a, it looks like it looks like a rental is crawling through. Like, kind of like, not crawling, but like kind of like crouched down running you know and like it's dark enough where i can't really make out what this is right it, it's like it's pretty dark at this point and it looks like someone was kind of crouched running to like cover or something like that and in my mind i'm like you know like okay i don't want to get lit up but as soon as i kind of like go to say oh i'm dead i notice this thing is like looks like it's crawling on all fours and it looks like it doesn't have a shirt on and like for example, like, just so you guys know, at Colony Wars, you have to have the corresponding team color shirt on for what team you're playing. So if I'm green, I gotta wear green. If I'm blue, I gotta wear blue. This looked like skin. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's a creepy, spooky, cryptid thing, but uh, it, was, it, it was definitely saw... It, I definitely saw something. Because I made out the figure, it was moving, and it wasn't, like, something where I was, like, so faint that, okay, maybe I saw something. Like, there was definitely something there moving around at pretty decent speed. And, um, yeah. And then, we're, we're, I'm, like, I'm sitting here, I'm, like, Cole, did you see that? He's, like, no, what are you talking about? I'm, like, dude, did you see that behind the bush? He's, like, no, what, what the fuck are you talking about? And, of course, at this point, we don't have any lights on because it... I was gonna throw my, I was gonna zip tie my light to my G3 because I had to do some jank stuff. I was gonna wait until it got dark, and I didn't think it was gonna get dark when I was walking back. So we're not, all we had was our phone lives, and you can't, you can't see dick with that, right? So eventually, we're we're kind of just standing there like we don't know what to do, and all of a sudden, I hear Kelzar yelling in the distance, like where he is, and it's of course has to be right where I saw whatever the entity that I saw was. So. uh yeah, it was it was a little spooky. Uh, if you plan on going out in the woods alone at Black Ops, uh, maybe don't do that at night or dusk because uh, if that's what the uh, urban legends, what what matches the description of some uh, urban legends, or not even urban legends, I guess at that point. But uh, yeah, that that's some uh, nasty spooky stuff. But uh, if you're wondering how we got saved from all this, is Fortunately for us, there was two people from Green Colony that were walking down, and they actually had flashlights. And I kind of like was like, "Hey, can you shine the light over there?" And I didn't see anything after that, and we made it back to the base, right? But I mean, you can ask anyone that was on Green Colony at that point. Like, I, I was like, I got back to Fob, and I was like freaking out, bro. I was like, I was like, dude, I saw this, and it wasn't like freaking out, like, Ooh! it was like, dude, dude, you won't believe what the fuck I just saw. But uh, yeah, that's that's my uh spooky scary cryptid story um if you skip this i don't blame you but uh yeah back into uh back into the normal footage so yeah here's some cool scenery shots i got of the night play nothing really happened action wise but uh there was a lot of cool visuals Walking through the city at night was really, really spooky and almost gave you a liminal space kind of vibe.
We also decided to sleep in this boat out on the field for whatever reason. I guess we wanted to get an advantage on the enemy team or something like that. But uh, yeah, here, here, here's a few bits and That's pieces from uh, that. Oh, the no. toilet. You got the toilet, bro. I might. I might. You might what? Step in the toilet. This motherfucker's been laughing for the past five fucking minutes. I don't think he slept. I did not sleep. <laughs> Yo, why the boat not moving? Did we break down? <laughs> we on Lake Michigan right now. We finna sink. Dude, look at this boat. Is it this repair? Oh, bro. We underwater. We in Subnautica. <laughs> Hello. I am under the water. <laughs> Please help me. Oh, in Subnautica. Oh, I'm crying. Oh. I'm crying. I'm down. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Riz. <laughs> no, don't do it. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. Oh yeah, I know. It sucks. We gotta get up and go airsoft. <laughs> what? Bro, you're gonna nap in here alone? We probably want to cross through the mines. But yeah, I guess nobody else wanted to wake up early in the morning because uh, we walked back to FOB perfectly fine. So after the lack of action this morning, we decided to go wake Blue Team up with some nice jams. Can hit it. <laughs> no, dude, do one of six. Clerical battery, please charge. Oh, no. <laughs> we have to do the yo. <laughs> yo! Coil. Cannibalize coil! <laughs> And that unfortunately is all I have for you guys today. I was originally planning for this video to be a two-parter because I knew how much action I got during this whole event, but yeah, all my files got corrupted. And of course it happened to both of my SD cards, so I don't even have the good parts of day two. I just have the one bit of action you guys got to see earlier in day one, and then really nothing from day two besides walking around at night. But I hope I managed to make this video somewhat enjoyable for you guys, so you guys kind of like don't have anything to watch, I guess. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys join Anomalous. It's a Discord that we have. We do all kinds of airsoft stuff there, so if you need a community to go chill with, that's the community for you. Other than that, I hope you guys have have a great day, night, whatever time it is for you, and peace out.